with Dave Parker, host of Front Runners on Fandango. Dave, we've got our cheat sheets. Yes. All right, what jumps out at you? You know, just when you think you know exactly what's going to happen at the Oscar nominations because of all the other award shows that have happened, there's all these surprises. The big ones here that jump out at me, in Best Actor, Tom Hanks didn't get nominated for Captain Phillips. Yeah. He's someone who was really considered a sure thing. Also, Robert Redford for All Is Lost didn't get nominated. Instead, they gave it to Christian Bale for American Hustle and Leonardo DiCaprio for Wolf of Wall Street. Two movies coming on strong right now. One of the other times I saw you get animated as the nominees were being read, Oprah Winfrey, no, no nomination for Best Supporting Actress to The Butler. That whole movie got nothing. No Forrest Whitaker, not Best Picture, not Best Screenplay, and not Oprah Winfrey. Uh, another movie that didn't do very well overall is Saving Mr. Bain. Mm -hmm. which is a film that people are really discovering and liking a lot. Tom Hanks wasn't nominated for playing Walt Disney. Emma Thompson was not nominated. Amy Adams, who just won the Golden Globe for American Hustle, took that spot. Interesting to note that American Hustle got nominated in all four acting categories. That also happened last year with Silver Linings Playbook, also directed by David O. Russell, also starring Bradley Cooper and Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah. So there's something magical about that where people in the Academy just love the way that he gets actors together. Just to put you on the spot real quick, if you had to pick one of the Best Picture nominees as the Oscar winner, it would be? 12 Years a Slave okay, right now. Cool. There's a lot here. I mean, if you look at Best Actress, Amy Adams, this is her first ever nomination in the lead category. Mm. The other four, Kate Blanchett, Sandra Bullock, Judy Dench, Meryl Streep, have all won Oscars. She's been nominated four other times, but this is great to see her in that lead role. Um, Jonah Hill, as you just mentioned, Matt, who was nominated alongside Barkhad Abdi, is a bit of a surprise because he wasn't nominated for the Golden Globe yeah. or the SAG Award, but what a great performance. And his second Oscar nomination after Moneyball. So and and I'm showing. not going to do predictions here because you're the genius in all this, but if I look at the Best Supporting Actress category and I see Sally Hawkins, Jennifer Lawrence, Lupita Nyong'o, Julia Roberts and June Squibb. Does it seem like it's one of those actresses year? Yeah, I mean, I think it's Jennifer Lawrence is definitely on a roll. She won, of course, Best Actress earlier, you know, last year for Silver Linings Playbook, had the number one movie of the year with Catching Fire, now more Oscar buzz. If she wins, she's only uh, the third woman ever to win back-to-back -back Oscars, which would be an incredible achievement. But Lupita Nyong'o, you know, people love 12 Years a Slave, and that's a movie that did extremely well overall, so I don't think it's a done deal for Jennifer Lawrence. It's a tough race there. Seems like the Academy did a good job of spreading the love around a lot of different pictures get a nod. In your mind, is there one movie in particular that did the best this morning? Because I don't know if you've done the math already. Yeah, I'm curious to see the overall tallies. Mm. I think it's going to be a close race between 12 Years a Slave and American Hustle for the overall nomination tally because American Hustle did factor into all four acting categories. All right, Dave Parker, where will we be without you on these mornings? <laughs>